Wix Nation, Wix Nation, what's going on? MPS here from Wix Training Academy, and today I am going to show you how to start a drop shipping business in Wix. It is 2019, and Wix has just officially released their own drop shipping integration. That's right, no more having to go through third party apps like Equid. You can now do it directly in Wix and sell products from your Wix store without ever having to manage all the inventory and headaches that come with actual physical inventory. You can have Printful do the rest. So we're going to jump into that. But before we do, guys, we have a goal here at Wix Training Academy to hit 50,000 subscribers to the channel. And it starts with the help of you by March 1st. So if you haven't already and you're brand new here, welcome. Make sure you click that subscribe button right down below and get notified on each new video we upload as well as being part of this awesome community if you haven't yet but you've been watching our videos make sure you hit that subscribe button it's much appreciated and i know you can help us get to our goals and build a brighter bigger better community and i'm excited to get there but before we do that guys i'm ready to jump into today's video are you ready Dun, 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 dun. Boom, here we go. All right, let's show you how to add a drop shipper in Wix. So you've got your Wix website right here. Um, what you can do is maybe you've already added a product, maybe or maybe you've already added your shop, maybe you haven't. Um, whatever the case may be, you have to add your actual online store here in Wix. You can see right here, you can simply go over to this My Store on the left, or you can go to Add, and you can add Wix stores um, through the Add apps. Uh, they also have online store templates if you didn't already. But what you need is you need the actual base, which is the online store. Once you have that, we have to go ahead and add our drop shipping service, right? So you have Wix stores. Wix stores is the actual storefront. But the drop shipping service is what happens on the back end. So when someone places an order on Wix stores, the drop shipping service will get notified of that and they will process the purchase. They will create the shirt, the mug, whatever the product is, and they will fulfill the shipping. So basically your goal as a drop shipper owner is to get traffic to your website and turn those traffic leads into sales, right? You're trying to turn your traffic into sales because after that, you don't touch the rest. The rest is hands off on your end. Printful will take care of the rest. They'll take care of the printing of the product. They'll take care of the shipping of the product and the fulfillment of the product. So it's pretty hands off after purchase. Other than the fact that you're going to want to make sure that you have a customer service team available or yourself customer service and you want to make sure they have a good order and uh checkout experience through your store. All that's got to be covered by you. You've got to build the infrastructure, but once that sale takes place, Printful does the rest. So what has to happen first is you have to go to add apps and you've got to go to Printful. You'll click that. This is the brand new integration. It's beautiful to even see this right now. You'll then click add. And then what has to happen is you have to give uh, Printful, the ability to actually read the data that comes through. So you'll click allow and install. And then you arrive at this beautiful thing. Okay. So if you haven't already, what you're going to want to do first and foremost, before anything is to create an account in Printful. Now I've got a link right down in the description advice. Yes, this is an affiliate link. It costs you nothing more, but if you enjoy my content here on the channel, I would love if you can use my link down below to sign up to Printful. It'd be much appreciated. And literally there's no difference between using my link or going straight to Printful other than the fact that you're supporting here, me in the channel by using my link. So if you want to go ahead and use that link is in the description below and you have to create your account for Printful. So once you do create your account for Printful, and I'm just going to go ahead and sign in, you then have to confirm your connection. So you'll press connect store to info at wish my website. And then what we're going to do here is our product data is being synchronized, right? So what's going to happen is it's going to pull the product data that's currently in your Wix store. You can see my Wix store is now linked. There's five products. Wow, would you look at that? These are the same products that are right here. We've got the same products right here, right? So what we see here is we see five products. These are not synced currently. So what you can do is 
You can click on them. And you can unselect them. You can come into here. You can edit them. And you can choose the product. And then you can choose, you know, what type of product it is. You're going to have to sync it. So you can see there was no sunk products currently. And there's a reason for that. It's because we have to add products. Which means we have to come in here. Let's say we want to build a t-shirt. We'll get a t-shirt. And then you'll want to design the t-shirt. Go through it. Go through it. Add the pricing. And then it'll have you sync. Okay. So now when you come into Wix stores. We go to settings. Um, we could come in here. Obviously you guys know the whole shebang. You can edit the design and everything within your store. But you're going to want to manage. And you're going to want to go to manage store. So now that you have a successful printful connection. You can go ahead and you can actually add products straight from in here. Um, if you go to store products, I'll show you in just a second. You'll see our products right here. You can click on it. And then you can see you can add all of your product information in here. Inventory, shipping, all that good stuff. Um, and you can add your products right here in Wix stores. But what you need to do is you need to actually add products via Printful so they can sync over um, and go straight to Wix store. So that way when the data comes over, and by the way, you can refresh your data here. So when you add products, you can go ahead and refresh it and it'll resync the data. Um, you can also change the settings in here. But that is how you link your store with Wix stores and that is how you start that drop shipping service here in Wix. I will do a more in-depth video on the second part of this with adding the products and actually syncing the products, creating the products, doing that whole shebang because it's really cool and I'll do that as a second part video. But for right now that is part one. So if this video helped you out, link in, uh, drop a like down below. Also again, you're going to need a Printful account to do this. So if you don't already have one, it would be awesome if you can use my link down in the description below. It's just a way to support me in the channel. But if you're like, hey, screw this guy. I don't want to use his link. No hard feelings. It's all good. But I would appreciate it. Uh, lastly, comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And hit that subscribe button, guys. Again, we have a goal to hit 50,000 subscribers by March 1st. And I need the help of you to get there. So if you feel like this video helped you out, you like the content here, you like my energy, you like the vibe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Share this content with fellow colleagues, friends, business owners that may find this valuable so that way they can utilize it as well. And then if you want absolutely no strings attached, free Wix training and content, come over to drink, join the academy and get access to some free webinars, some free PDFs, a whole bunch of uh, some free courses that I've built for you. It's a cool, cool little training academy. All you need is an email and a password and that's it. But that is the start. So if this video helped you out, I look forward to uh, hearing the comments and seeing what else you would like to see from me regarding drop shipping. Again, I'll create a second part with adding products and stuff like that. Other than that, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching.